In which type of study do you identify incident cases over a period of time? Prospective study. Milan, what is the main difference between the design of prospective and retrospective studies? Calendar. 200. Gurpreet, what unit of analysis is used in cohort studies? Population level. Yeah. Eric. What two types of populations must a study begin with in order to draw conclusions of an outcome? Uh, exposed and unexposed. 100. Bank. Kevin. How are outcomes ascertained? Through case studies. 200. Nicole, what is data collection? Uh, to observe a study and report the information later analyzing the results obtained. 300. Milan. What does the following risk ratio indicate? Ooh, and time is up. Now it's time for the first round of the voting round. Statistically, Nicole is the strongest contestant. Logger Creek was the weakest contestant. Alright, contestants, please cast your votes. Preet. Kevin. Kevin. Preet. Preet. Preet, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. It was nice being here, guys. Goodbye. Thanks a lot. <laughs> bye bye. See you guys. Sucker Preet, how does it feel to be the first one eliminated from the weakest link? Um, so it kind of sucks. Uh, I think Kevin should have been one to go. Um, he's banking after 100. Like, come on. Like, he's not even trying. Uh, I'm over here trying to get these questions right. Uh, I'm trying to go in. Trying to get a lot of money. So I'm salty. You know? I shouldn't have gone. Thanks. And now it's time for round two of the weakest link. Congratulations on making it this far. Round two will consist of 45 seconds of questions. Round two will begin now. What does the following risk ratio indicate? Zero to one. Negative association. 100. Milan, what, do, what does the following risk ratio indicate? One to two. Weak association. 200. Eric. Bank. What, what, do the, what does the following risk ratio indicate? Two to three. Uh, moderate association. 100. Kevin, Bank. what is the what, what does the following risk ratio indicate? Three and above. Strong association. Nicole, what is the attributable risk? Um, it measures the excess risk or the added risk to the exposure. One hundred. Bank. Milan. And time is up for round two. In round two, you guys managed to bank five hundred dollars. The round two voting period will now begin. Statistically, for the second round in a row, Nicole was the strongest link, while Kevin was the weakest link statistically. Right. Candidates, please submit your votes. Kevin. Kevin. Nicole. Kevin, I'm sorry, but you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Yay. So, Kevin, how do you feel about getting kicked off for banking too early? Uh, I think it's kind of bogus. You know, I was banking pretty early just so we'd have money in the bank. Uh, they'd get questions wrong. I was just playing conservative, but, you know, apparently it wasn't good enough. Welcome back to round three of the weakest link. Round three will consist of 30 seconds of questions. Your questions will begin now. What should individuals be aware of in a study? Independent variables. Eric. A group of people that have been infected by a disease <clears throat> is part of a, of a what group? Uh, exposed group. 100. Nicole. Individuals that have been subjected to a disease and or case is part of what group? Uh, unexposed group. Milan, what two types of populations must a study begin with in order to draw conclusions of an outcome? 
exposed and unexposed. Time is up. We got that in. Now it's time for the voting round of round three. Statistically, Nicole for the third straight round is our strongest link. While Milan, though answering his questions correctly, was the weakest link for not banking. Contestants, please cast your votes. Nicole. Milan. Milan, thanks for playing. <clears throat> but you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Milan, statistically, you were never the weakest link. But how do you feel about getting kicked off? Well, everyone just wanted to go for the top dog, I feel like. So, I feel like they just wanted to get me out because they're scared of me. Welcome back to the final round of the weakest link. This will be the final and sudden death round. Nicole, since you were the strongest link in the previous round, you will begin the questions. The final round will begin now. What two types of populations must a study begin with in order to draw conclusions of an outcome? Exposed and unexposed populations. Eric, how are outcomes ascertained? Uh, by controlled case studies. Nicole, what are what is one strength of a cohort study? Uh, multiple outcomes can be measured for any one exposure. Eric, what is one limitation of a cohort study? Uh, they demonstrate causality of the disease. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Nicole, congratulations, you have won the weakest link. Woo! Eric, Woo! you are the weakest link, goodbye. Yeah. So Nicole, how does it feel to win $800 after statistically being the strongest link three rounds in a row? I mean, it feels great. Like, I knew I was going to win. I just really know my epidemiology. Oh, wow.